The fort not only has its own obvious built and engineered defenses, but also several layers of defenses set outside the fort to further slow an enemy down, to really make them think twice about wanting to attack the fort. And one of the most uh, prominent of those is what's called the phrase or the phrasing, which are the horizontal posts coming out from the walls of the fort. They are here expressly to keep the enemy from being able to put scaling ladders up against the walls of the fort. And even if uh, some soldier had the idea of just trying to grab a hold of one and haul himself up, they're set so close together he can't work his shoulders up in between them. He'd literally have to haul himself up right in over the end of it. We have uh, what some folks think of as a moat or in the, in the military language simply a military ditch because this was never filled with water. But it serves the same basic purpose. It's another thing that's going to slow an attacking enemy down. It might also sometimes have extra defenses put in it, such as chevaux de praise that we have over on this side of the ditch, which are somewhat like today's modern barbed wire. And sometimes the ditch would simply serve as an overflow area for people living here at the fort. Sometimes the groups of soldiers are up here were larger than the room that was inside the fort, so they, and particularly some of their families if they were here, would actually find living space down in the ditch in whatever sort of tents, little wooden huts, or other accommodations could be made for them. Outermost defenses uh, sometimes are uh, some of the most simplest things, so simple people don't even think of it as an obstacle or defense. The first thing we would start with is the fact that there is a large amount of cleared land around the fort, which makes it so an enemy cannot get in close to the fort under cover. They would have to cover a large area of open ground to, to get up close to the fort. They then would have to deal with this picket line or the vertical pickets uh, all the way around the fort finding some way to hack their way through that picket line before they could then try to actually assault the walls of the fort.